Okay, for today's little project, we're going to go through the steps and procedures of testing your pool water chemicals. As you can see, we have the Taylor test kit, the complete test kit. I went ahead and got a good amount of sample of the pool water. Best place to do this is at the pool, about 12 inches down below the surface. You don't want to get surface water. And we'll go through all the steps of testing each chemical. We're going to test the chlorine, the pH, We'll test alkalinity, calcium hardness, and the cyanuric acid. So let's get started. All right, we're going to test the chlorine first. I went ahead and filled up my test file to the top level here. I'm going to take reagent number one, and we're going to put five drops. Hold your bottle straight down. One, two, three, five. Mix that. Use a little rubber cap. And we're going to get reagent number two. Straight down, five drops. One, two, three, five. Put your cap in. Mix it up. You want to hold it up a light surface. If you're outside, you can just hold it up to the sky. According to this, we are right at about 3 points, 3 points per million. So we're dead on where we need to be on our chlorine. Now we'll test our pH. We're going to do 5 drops of that. Test that. Looks like we're right at about seven four. All right. To test the total alkalinity, we're going to get our test file here. On the big side that we check our pH on, on the side you'll see a 25 milliliter mark. We're going to fill pool water to that mark. Make sure we got it where it needs to be. And we're going to get the reagents that we need. It's going to be number seven. We're going to put in two drops. Remember to hold the bottle straight down. That's going to give you the best amount of reagent to go in. And we don't need to cover this, just swirl to mix. Then we're going to grab the number 8 reagent. And we're going to put in 5 drops of that. We're going to mix that swirl to mix and as you can see it's turning green now we're going to get reagent number nine and we're going to count this it's one drop and then you're going to swirl it and what you want to do is to get this to turn colors and this is going to turn from green to red we got one in. I'm going to go ahead and put four more in. And we're at blue, so maybe one more. So that was six. So that means that my total alkalinity, if it was six drops in there, you count it, you divide that, or times 10, so we've got 60 parts per million of our total alkalinity. Alright, calcium hardness. It's basically the same thing. Fill your large test file to the 25 milliliter mark. You're going to take reagent number 10, and we're going to add 20 drops.
swirl that to mix it. All right, we're going to take reagent number 11L. We're going to add five drops of that. Swirl to mix. And as you can see, we've got almost a reddish pinkish color. Now with this one, we're going to get reagent number 12. And this is a per drop kind of thing. Each drop, you would times that by 10. You're looking to go from red to blue. So I'm going to two, three, four, five. I'm going to go with five drops right off the bat. We're still at a red color. Starting to get a little bit of a color change to blue. I'm going to go one more. 16. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We just got to change right there to blue. All right, so we went to blue at nineteen drops times ten. That's one hundred and ninety parts per million. <clears throat> All right, our cyanuric acid was so low that wasn't really getting a proper reading on it. I think it's telling me somewhere around the 30 or 40. I have a digital tester that I use that'll give me a more accurate test on that. And I think what I'll do is I'll bring that down here and I'll show you how that works. And we'll get a proper reading on our cyanuric acid. So I think that pretty much covers all your testing. As you can see in the video, I've giving you all the ranges that are acceptable and we'll next step we'll get the digital meter out here and we'll test that cyanuric acid with the digital and we'll find out exactly what, where we are with that all right we're back with the palin test pull test number three and i went ahead and filled up my test file to the 10 millimeter mark and this is the cyanuric acid test tabs Mix this till it's all gone. Get it all dissolved. Okay, everything is dissolved. This will tell us that our cyanuric acid is at 40. So it's definitely too low to read with using the chemical tester. Our ideal situation on that is under 100. 40 is pretty good. <clears throat> 